Jasper, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's gonna go for it. Oh, wow, look at that. He's amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Tuesday. We're actually going out this afternoon. We're going to the range to do a bit of shopping. We have some cool pet stuff at the range, so I'm hoping to find some bits. Vinny, you always make an appearance at the intro, but you're so cute, aren't you? You're a sweetheart, Oh. He just loves the attention. You just want to eat, don't you? Mm -hmm. Tomato and basil pasta. Carrots. Tabule. Beetroot salt. Baba ganoush. <laughs> Is that everything? Mm. Oh, apple juice. The beach! That's so cute. It's very cute. Oh, I love this. Yeah, that one's so cute. It's very cute. Oh, it's cute. I think it's something darling if you like. Oh, the apples. Oh. Did you die? Yeah, the two. I should get three. Well, they're expensive. Oh, they are quite expensive. But when will we next be coming? Probably. I'm worried they'll sell out. That's good meadow hay up there. Might get that for the job. <coughs> or Timothy hay. How is that Timothy hay? Hmm. What's this up here? Like roughage stuff. <laughs> ah. Interesting. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's a car.
it, Trixie. Oh, it's so cute. Trixie. Getting a pullover. What are these? Oh, you put them around the neck. Yeah. We've just got back from the range now and I picked up quite a few bits, a few animal bits and just kind of things for, you know, like pegs and mixing spoons and stuff for like my foody things. Um, picked up some sunflower seeds with the shells on. Just going to put these here for now. We also got a big 20 kilogram bag posted today, which is shelled sunflower seeds. Um, so yeah, probably got to go get those. And we're on to the last bag of hay for... The indoor animals, the rabbits, to be honest, are not a big fan of hay. I give them more fresh food, let them forage around the garden. That's kind of better for their digestion and overall health. I mean, the skinny pigs go through hay like there's no tomorrow. And the girls eat quite a lot as well. But we're on the last bag, so we need to stock up again soon. It's quite a big bag, though. It should last a while. Well, I say that, but they, they eat a lot. <laughs> Tea cake, you love that fleece. Look at all the poo they've done. Oh, she's so snug in there. That's actually adorable. How cute. I know you two are starving. I've got a bag of hay for you. Look, it's right here. <laughs> Roxy and Dorio. <laughs> she's deciding whether it's worth coming out of the nice warm blanket down there. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, this is for the gerbils because they like hay as nesting material, but the stuff we use is really coarse. So we've got some soft and it's got plantain and rose petal in. I think I actually need to get these two a new hay wrap because they're going through this one like there's no tomorrow. Um. This one might do. It's pretty big. Hi! The quality is awful, but how cute! They always climb onto my knee as well, it's really sweet. Look at that! Oh, oh look at them! Got them so well trained. So yeah, just casually, just chilling here with my skinny pigs. Guys are cute. That's it, go back in. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Come on. Don't eat my finger. Come on. Go, go. Go, go. Wee. There you go. <laughs> I know you're hungry. I know. Okay, Kanga. The quality is awful, but Kanga is a little bit better today. Oh, bless him. Oh, no. He's not having a good time with it at the minute. He's, I can easily tell the difference now. This is Kanga. Roo is up there. Um, but yeah, you can just tell he's not himself. His eyes are a bit squinty and stuff like that. The skinny pigs are definitely using their litter trays more at the minute. They have one each. They like to be near each other but not quite share. So this sort of setup works well because it really gives them that. Oh, you found a new little hut now, tea cake. <laughs> Which one's better? Do you want to go back under? <laughs> she likes it in there. It's like a little den. Oh, all of them in. You are going. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> They're all watching me sweep up, it's quite hilarious. <laughs> so whilst we were out, we went to pets at home and they basically had this um, little guinea pig in adoption and she's called Ting and she's so gorgeous and she's all by herself. 
and honestly I'd love to be able to adopt her because I just think it'd be great to do my my mum was just talking to my dad about it and like there's they've been talking about it and um, it just made me think oh maybe like I, sh I just feel like I should adopt her because I have the space to do it and I have a group upstairs I can integrate her with so it would be awesome if we could get her. Hiya, um, we came in earlier and saw you had a guinea pig in the adoption bit. Yeah. Um, I was wondering if I could have some more information about her please. Yeah, bear me one second. So I'm just waiting for this for Oh, it's oh. fine. <laughs> the guinea pig that's currently in adoption is called Pink. Yeah. Uh, she's female um, and from what I believe, let me just find out the details on here. So no no history of illness, um, but the information that we've got is that uh, she may not mix uh, with other guinea pigs. Oh right. So she was she was housed with a group within the store, so she hasn't been with any owners before. She's literally come from our group of them, um, and basically it looks like she was a more dominant one and was picking on the others. Obviously, I have to advise you at the point of adoption. Um, that she may not mix it, yeah. take time to even attempt it. It's not a case of you put them straight in. Oh, yeah, exactly. Um, it's a case of doing it over maybe a week or two weeks' time, maybe yeah. even longer, um, and having them housed separately. Um, the donation that you give would be non-refundable because it is just a charity. They are not convinced she will be able to be integrated into a group. I feel like I've got so many options. I mean, when it comes to springtime, they will be moving outdoors anyway. Roxy will probably have to stay in because she's not of very good health, but I feel like there's so many options um, and I feel like I'm worried that she's just gonna go to someone who will keep her on her own and not have any interaction like through a split cage or anything like that. So I would be more than happy to take her on and I think it would be great.